right, so first and foremost, I want to give our praises to Yahweh. Bashem, Yoshai, Bashem, Kakodash. We said that we are not going to and there is a great news from Udwala. We teach us our process in the shoot. We say salutation, so yeah, I come to the question, we don't chicken, say day in and day out. You know, constantly in season of the season, we say shallow one. You know, once again, going into some scriptures here, going into, you know, this video, I will try to make it as, um, you know, short and quick to the point, right? Because, you know, we do countless of videos on the image and so forth of, of the true image of the Lord, right? Which, when they go into the scriptures, proves that he is not a white man. He is not of that complexion. He is not of that race and so forth. You understand? He is an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. So when you go into the scriptures, you already, and when you go into the scriptures, the the Israelites are who, the so-called Negroes, native natives and Latinos, right? And when you go into the Lord, when you go into the to the record, right, that was given of the Lord, that was given of the Messiah, he was not white, nor did he had long, long hair, you know, because when you go into this, when you again going into the scriptures, you will get to understand that. Having long hair is not a thing for a man, right? A man not supposed to have that type of that that long hair, you know, going past his neck and so forth. So I like to open with um, this Isaiah chapter eight verse twenty, right? It see to the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. So one time, in order to know. The truth is supposed to turn to what? The testimony is supposed to turn to the scriptures to know to get to know the truth, to get the to get the, the raw facts, you know, the the record, the <laughs> you know, the witness that, that was given to the, the to given towards anything and everything. But particularly with dealing upon the image to to give it the, the the record, the testimony of the um, of the image of the Lord. And the, the description of, of the Messiah, right? And at the Isaiah 8 verse 1, they say, Say to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. So one time you already know that that hey, if, if they if they're promoting the teaching that the Lord was was white and so forth and so on, he had long hair, it's because there's no light in them, there's no truth, there's nothing good there in them. So one time you're supposed to do what? Remove yourself from that, you know, leave that alone, right? And the next thing with this video is just to show you how much people waking up to the truth. How much people getting it straight to the fact that this image is not what the Lord is. You understand? When they go to history, when they go to which part the Lord um, was, right? You get to know that, hey, he was not white. One time. Right? Now this, even when people waking up to the, hey, scripture say what? Now that shall be what? Increase. Now that shall be increased and that is what going on. And now even with people waking up to the fact that the Lord is not the Lord is not white, there's also people that still believe that he is white. And they will still remain in that blind state. You understand? They will still remain in that in that in that level of slumber. They will never want to because they they already were. They already been brainwashed to the point that there's no what turning back. And I just the, the car basically have that. It says, hey, again, it must have the blind. It must have the blind. Right, so, going into the, to the video here now, you know, it's just basically, you know, someone was touching upon that, how the Messiah became widely accepted as being white. And we know that going to print, you have um, a brainwashing, slavery, all these things, Constantine Empire and so forth. Go, you know, um, going into the history of it. But it's not really down to touch upon I wanted to go to the comments now, right? Go to the comments, right? And if you read some of the comments, it say why white Messiah must have been sunscreen. The Middle East is too hot for Caucasian skin complexion, and it's facts. All these things is facts. They say people see him all the time. They all say his skin is copper. Scriptures tell, scriptures tell skin of copper, hair of white wool. No. Which is fact. That's why I bring on the Isaiah 8 verse 20 to the Lord and to the testimony. And there was given a testimony of how the description of the Lord. Right? Now I'm going to jump to Revelation 1 verse 1. It said the revelation of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Right? Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants the things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel 
unto his servant John, who bear record, who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Yahweh Shai Mashiach and of all these things that he saw. Right? So he gave a record of how the Messiah, that description of the Messiah as well, right? And many other things, right? It said, Blessed is he that read it and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. So it said, Blessed is he that read it and keep the and and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things that, which are written therein. And keep those things that are written therein. No. Is the white Messiah written therein? No. No. So one time you don't know that that off. And whoever, if a pastor promoting that, if a if a bishop promoting that, you don't know he off in his spirit. And he is not he is not he's not keeping the words that, that are written. He's not following the testimony. Right? He is he, he's going against the record, right? That was given. So one time you're supposed to do what? You're supposed to detach yourself from that. Detach yourself from those lies. And again, this is just this to show you how much knowledge is coming forth these days. That there's plenty of people waking up to the fact that hey, we was brainwashed, we was lied to, and all these things. Right? Um, so going going on now, Revelation 1 verse outside from verse 13. They say, and in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the path with a girdle and girdle. Right? Talking about the Messiah, you say, his head and his ears were white like wool, white like wool, and white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his eyes, so white like wool, right? So when I go and look up, um, let me make sure this thing is thick and give any trouble, right? You know, because I'm using an old device, but this, this, continuing while this loading here, right? Let's see. And his feet like onto fine brass as if, and his feet like onto fine brass as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. Right? And how they describe, you see, and that's the thing, how the word describe the Lord, they make him look weak, they, they make him look feeble, you understand, they make him look, what, just watch that image, blue eyes, long hair, you know, they make him look weak, you understand, but the scripture is in here, and his feet like onto fine brass, now when you look up fine brass, right, when you look up burn brass, this is just a random YouTube search, right, and that's what you first <laughs> that's what you first see when type of burn brass you see in white like wool right i want to click the video because i i want to come up this particular video here but they could understand let's watch let's watch the 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 um the image let's watch the when let's watch brass let's if you could see they say the feet what is what you put here the image with the feet as you could see what complexion it is, it's not white. So, it's not to say, if you want to say, um, <laughs> and the Lord wouldn't be what, of two, he wouldn't be, he, if his foot alone wouldn't be of bone, um, looking like bone brass, and his upper body looking white, come on, that wouldn't make sense. Right? You say, and his feet like onto fine brass, as if they burned in the furnace, and burned in the furnace, isn't it? Huh. So, the brass get what, more darker? You see, and his voice as the sound of many waters, as, as many waters. And hey, when you watch movies and you think that they show the Lord, they make him sound soft, they make him sound weak. But that's not what he what he was, right? That many accounts with the with the, with the Messiah when he ref, that's roughly paraphrasing when he walked into the market and he showed on the tables and so forth. Was that a weak man? Was that a man a soft man? No, right? But see, um, but see. They say, and he had in his right, so that's giving it a quick description of that, right? His, his head and his ears were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, like, and his head was like, wow, well, like wool, like wool. When you go and look up wool, obviously, you get to see what a fro, a fro, you're gonna put it in that form, a fro, right? You know, all of the apostles here. Right. 
so one time you don't know that this image is off right but when you go to the if, if, if it's supposed to listen to the words and and go to what the scriptures say the scriptures are is giving you a definite description of the lord so why believe this image this, this image not going to idol worship and there's a big big um thing behind this image right so as i say going back into some comments here there's a particular comment i want to touch a particular comment i see just now so this person make a comment here they say the messiah was born in an area that would lead us to think he looked like other jews who would be white dark or golden i personally don't care as long as he he comes back soon and that is you see that is a church mentality is the church mentality have them saying that that it doesn't matter because at the end of the day the churches will never teach you the truth because they only want one thing and that is why your money but at the end of the day we're supposed to be speaking the truth you understand um i'm gonna jump to the next scripture here jump to the next scripture here uh, It's a second timothy 3 verse 16. they say all scripture is given by inspiration of god and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for reproof for correction for instruction in righteousness so yes so all scripture is given for uh, all scripture is given by inspiration of god and is profitable so yes so you saying you saying that you don't care that not profitable that is not in righteousness but the scriptures are so we turn to the scriptures to find what an answer we, we turn to the scripture to get what to get correction to get proof to get instruction to get reproof you know things that are profitable unto us we turn to we have to turn to the scriptures you making a statement people have made a statement and you don't care the color you're all off you're all off because you know you day you have to turn to the scripture to prove your point and that is just to show you all you all is the blind that being led by the blind right and look you see just when you read the comments you get to understand like when people waking up to the fact of what, what it really is like this person here put you know the white the white um i ain't going to say the word the yg was created by pope alexander when his son Sergio borgia died and hey that hey, hey people you see the nice thing people waking up right so this person put he wasn't jewish he was a jew from the tribe of judah which was fact so hey is seeing is seeing people gaining the knowledge right people getting the knowledge right i was looking for a next scripture here Like this this person put up revelation his feet was like fine brass that tells you everything we need to know right and this this comment this comment this person put a comment back to, to this person you're talking about a verse that is speaking of the body of the resurrect, resurrected lord has nothing to do with his physical visual pre, pre crucifix um pre crucifix um crucifixion right and that is just to show you that he saw he saw he's, he's, the thing is this he saw he saw is going to be happy if he stay white so they would go against you tell it you speak any facts you speak any truth that he's not of that white complexion and that is facts right um something else here there's a next comment like this person put the egyptian had dark skin two thousand years ago that's the same place are you same place in my head when he was a baby to blend in <laughs> hey hey and that doesn't show you playing people waking up to the fact of this this image is, is total i wrong i it going that go, this image goes into idol worship and all these things and we don't know when you go to the scriptures and that's supposed to do what believe in an idol worship so one time when if, if you have this picture home 
if you're going to church and daddy pet you up and you kneel down to it one time you're off and you're supposed to stop do that you know what break it break those images show with them pictures you have home because that goes back to idol worship and if you believe in the lord and you believe in what he is, is said he said don't he said do oh, what <laughs> don't don't follow false idols just mother of fact don't bring another scripture to say the the graven images of the gods shall ye burn with fire thou shalt not desire the silver or gold that is on them nor take it unto thee lest thou be snared therein for it is an abomination to the lord thy god so one time you're not supposed to be um taking in these idols taking in these images and so forth and the son leave that alone so one time when you go to the scriptures and again you answer you get to your point you're supposed to know that hey you're supposed to leave you're supposed to leave this image alone because this is not the image that was given in the scriptures right so this this next person here did the comment here i was trying to get to it say what were what we are sure about is that the messiah wasn't blown with blue eyes which is facts and how you're sure about that is because you turn to what the scripture you turn to to the word right as the script as the scriptures say we are justified to what his saints so we turn to his saints not what a man think or wait to see believe right so this person mark we were sure about is that the messiah was wasn't blown with blue eyes correct we don't know that this this next comment it was we don't know that at all nor will we ever unless someone builds a time machine which is a stupid comment because how you know is that you turn to the scriptures you turn to the scriptures to know you know these things through 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 the scriptures you understand and I just show you that that the, the facts, the raw facts that are coming out is hurting Esau. You understand? You understand? People, and people don't also to bring out scriptures on this person. I made a comment. We don't know. Yes, we know. And how we know is through the scriptures. And we turn to the scriptures. Um, Say this Romans 3 verse 4 he say God God forbid he let God be true but every man a liar as it is written that thou might just be justified in thy sins and might just overcome when thou art judged so we be justified through the Lord's sins now but not, not, not about your opinion and about what you think you know we do that say with this comment here is madness and there is the there is the mindset that plenty of these people in they say we don't know that all we don't know that at all nor will we ever unless someone builds a time machine Come on, the scriptures already give you a perfect example, perfect description of the Lord. What more you need? It's not that, it's not that he don't know that the scripture give it that. It's that he don't want to give up this image because this image more looks like him. You understand? So he wouldn't want to worship what a, a dark skin Messiah. Why? Because because he believe his race is what more superior. You understand? But at the end of the day, hey, we are listening to this, what the scriptures say, and the scriptures already give you <laughs> a, 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 a description. So one time he was not white, he was of a dark complexion. So this image is wrong. Right? And so you know the video is this the video is up here. And I might just run back through the comments again and do some, you know, bring out some scriptures on the comments that are being laid on the video. And so the video is found on what? The root. The page is the root. It was put up December 13, 2018. And as you can see right here. And it's a big following. It's a big following right now because if I watch if I watch the comments. You now this video is put up two years ago. But if I could watch if I watch the big comments on it, it was three weeks, two days, two days, one day, twenty-three hours, one month, three days, one week, one day, four days ago, five days ago. So you can just see that kind of people waking up to the fuck away it is. And that is just the time that we in. That's just the time that we in. Hey. So, you know, with that we give our praises too. Yahweh, Ba Shami, Oshai, Ba Shami, Kakodash. We see the Mansa Pastors and Elves are great, much well. 
and salutations to all the Akamose, pushing on children, say, Dean and the old, you know, continuing season, season, we say, Shalom.